sorry. I just really want my wish to come true for you all. You're my best friends. Audrey, what was it that flew past the ship? The object was an asteroid heading towards Earth. Earth? Gorby, that's great news. It is. Why? An asteroid's just a rock. A big, chunky rock floating through space. Like the ones in the asteroid belt, going around the sun between Mars and Jupiter. Yes, but when an asteroid reaches Earth and enters its atmosphere, it becomes a meteor, and then... What? Something cool? Tell us, Chester. We can't take the suspense. Take a look. Whoa, that meteor's bright. It looks like it's burning. That's because it is burning. When meteors enter the Earth's atmosphere, the friction of the air causes them to burn up and glow. It's actually on fire. Whoa! Whoa, Whoa that is cool. I mean, that is hot. <laughs> oh, Marco, yeah. So that's what I saw in the sky. <gasps> I did see a shooting star. Only it wasn't a star. It was a meteor burning up. That's a big polo yes on that one, Garby. Hey, look! More asteroids. Lots more. What's happening? Sometimes only one asteroid falls into the Earth's atmosphere. Wow, not this time. When there's a lot, like this. That's a meteor shower. Whoa! Lots of shooting stars! <gasps> My wish did come true! Now all of you can make a wish. I wish for us to have adventures this fun every day. I was just gonna wish for that popsicle I wanted, but your wish is way better. I wish for that too. Me too. Same here. Me too, me too. Or we can have both. <gasps> yeah? Popsicles for everyone. Oh, <laughs> Yay! Yum. Thanks, Gorby. And we're back. Just in time for the meteor shower. Yay! Meteors! And Popsicle! Wow! Delicious! That's right! First up, everybody out! Wow! Wow! wow. Elephants. Elephants! Cool! The elephant watering hole is my first favorite thing. Good one, Willow! Thanks! And now it's time for my favorite meal, breakfast. I could eat. What's next, Willow? You'll see. The Amazon rainforest? That's right. For my next favorite thing, zip lining through the canopy! Yay! 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 Grand Canyon! Woohoo! Who wants breakfast? I know a great place for pancakes. Are we in Alaska? That's right, to see my favorite animal. Polar bears! I can't believe it's still morning. Yeah, we've had breakfast for breakfast, breakfast for lunch, breakfast for snack. It's been morning for the whole day. Huh. And we still haven't surprised Willow. Surprise! <gasps> Autopilot on. Audrey, set course for Earth orbit. Autopilot on. Setting course for Earth orbit. So, how do you like my birthday so far? Isn't it the best birthday ever? It's the longest birthday ever. I know. You want to know why? Yes! <laughs> I'll show you. I'll be the sun and Marco, you be the Earth. Sure. Audrey, lower cabin lights. On the part of the Earth facing the sun, it's day. Yeah, and on the part of the Earth that's facing away from the sun, it's night. The Earth is always turning. Marco, turn slowly in a circle. 
It takes 24 hours for the Earth to rotate, to go from day to night, back to day again. So we started one place where it was morning, the savannah, and kept flying in the same direction, towards morning in another place. Transforming to Polo Galactic. Polo Galactic entering Earth orbit. Ooh. Look, there's Earth. Day on one side, night on the other. Beautiful. My absolutely favorite, favorite place. I think this is the right time. Surprise! Surprise! Wow, Polos, thanks! Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Willow! Willow. It's hot. I wish I'd brought my hat. Here, my hat. You brought it in your backpack? Mm-hmm. Wow, thanks, Nash. High five, buddy. Whoa! Oops. <clears throat> How about I carry that for a bit? <sighs> I'm so hot. Whew. I'm sweaty. I'm hot and sweaty. Oh, I wish I brought some water. Ah, water! Wawa, Wawa, for everybody! Thanks, Nash. Maybe bringing that backpack wasn't such a bad idea. Actually, it's turning out to be a really great idea. Hey, look! Rhinos? They're still a little far. Yeah. Perfect. Thanks, Nash. Yup. Let's go. Don't forget the backpack. I got it, buddy. I'll help. <gasps> Rhinos! We found them. Boy, they're big. One of the biggest land animals. Elephants are the biggest. Rhinos are so big that nothing around here eats them. Uh... What's up with those little birds? It looks like they're pecking at the rhino's backs. It's eating bugs. I think you're right, Nash. The birds are picking bugs off the rhinos and eating them. I've heard of them. They're called ox peckers. They help the rhinos by keeping them free of bugs. And the rhinos help the ox peckers by giving them a source of food. No wonder the rhinos let the ox peckers peck them. They're both getting something they need. Just like Nash helped us out today. Yeah, we never would have made it to see the rhinos without Nash and his backpack. And Nash would have never made it here with his backpack without everyone helping to carry it. I wonder what else he's got in there. <laughs> Whoa! Stuff! Teddy, bouncy ball, helmet, socks, book, pippers. My stuff! <laughs> <laughs> Well, I guess we better help Nash get all of his stuff back into his backpack and get it all the way back to the polo mobile. Right. Another hot, sweaty, thirsty hike to right over there. We barely left the polo mobile. Oh, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> Look. But all zebras have black and white stripes, Nash. Of course, there's more than one species of zebra. Chester, maybe that's it. It turns out there are three different kinds of zebras. And each kind of zebra has different stripes. Take a look, Nash. Nope, long stripes. Well, there's this one. Nah. -uh. Here's the third one, the plain zebra. That looks like one we've seen around here. What do you say? Yep. Yeah. 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 But wait, what is it, Lily? We still don't know how to pick out Natchez's zebra from all the other zebras around here. Yes, but it also says that every individual zebra has a unique pattern of stripes. So you can tell them apart. But we don't know what that zebra looks like. Hmm. Heel. <gasps> Natchez's selfie with the zebra. We'll totally be able to see its stripes now. 
Audrey, could you scan for zebra herds? Scanning. Scanning. I have detected a few herds of zebra directly ahead. All yes. right. Then let's go. Wow. So many zebras. And we have to find just the right set of stripes. I'm having an engineering moment. Behold, the Polo Zebra Matcher. It should be able to compare the stripe pattern of Nash's zebra to any other zebra. Yay! Is it here? Hmm. It doesn't look like Nash's zebra is in this herd. Well, I guess we'll keep looking then. Let's go! It's not in this herd. Or this one. Nope. Nash's zebra isn't in this herd either. I wonder why zebras even have stripes. <gasps> when they move, their stripes make it hard to tell where one zebra starts and another one ends. So it would be hard for predators too. That must be why they have stripes. For protection. My zebra! <laughs> Scanning? Scanning? It's a match! That's Nash's zebra! I think Nash already knew that. Hello! Yeah. Yeah. Scientists think their stripes also confuse bugs and keep them from being bitten. I wish I had stripes. Okay, no swimming with giant otters because they might attack us. Let's take a look underwater. Yeah! Whee! This doesn't look so bad except for that stick. That's not a stick. It's a creature. A deadly one, too. It's an electric eel. An eel that's electric? Seriously? How is that even possible? Electric eels have special body parts that make electricity. They need this to help them hunt prey and defend themselves. What's that? Oh no, there's another one! That's not an eel, that's a snake. A ginormous snake. How many things live down here? Well, anacondas do, right, Chester? Yep, they're the biggest snakes in the world. They can grow to be as long as a school bus. That's big. Do they bite? No. They coil their bodies around their prey and drag them into the water to eat them. Cool. But no swimming with anacondas. Absolutely yeah. not. No. How about here? It looks beautiful. No giant otters, no electric eels, no anaconda. <gasps> Ooh, fishy, fishy. Little fishies. Piranha with the sharp teeth that can eat whole animals super fast? Yes, but these red piranhas bark to warn other creatures to stay away from them. Woof! 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 Cute otters that don't want to play? Eels with electricity? Giant and a conjure snake that squeeze their prey? And barking piranha fish? The Amazon River doesn't seem like a good place to swim. Yeah. But this is where they live, their home, not ours. The Amazon belongs to the creatures that live here. Sorry, Lily. Oh, I don't care about the rain. If only I could find some place to swim. If I could just find one place, any place to go swimming today. Well, how about this? I was working on the robo-umbrella, but then it started to rain, and it turned into a swimming pool. Yay! Thank you, Willa! Cannonball! Who wants to play Marco Polo? Woo-hoo! Yeah! 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 <laughs> Marco Polo! <laughs> it says here that kangaroos and wallabies are related, kind of like cousins. They're both herbivores. They eat plants. Right. And they both carry their babies in pouches. So they're marsupials. But wallabies are much smaller. 
And they're totally not what we thought they were. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Aww. Nash, what's this? Uh, not that. No, it's not. Hmm. Maybe it's a fan. Look! A koala! Cool! That must be a eucalyptus tree. Eucalyptus is really hard to digest. And for many animals, it's poisonous to eat. Koalas are one of the few animals that can eat its leaves. Look at this! That koala has a pouch with a joey. If it's got a pouch and a joey, it's a marsupial. Like kangaroos and wallabies. You know that koala looks just like my teddy bear. But koalas aren't bears. They're a completely different animal. Whoa, another Australian marsupial that's not what we thought. Hey, what is that? You know, I'm not really sure. But it's not a fan. Hmm, maybe you play catch with it. This looks like a good place for a picnic. I've got everything we need right here. Whoa! Check this out! Is that a mouse? And is it eating a flower? We've got to look it up. It's called a honey possum. It only eats the nectar and pollen from flowers. It's got a long tongue that fits deep into the flowers to get the nectar. Like a hummingbird. And guess what? Honey possums are totally marsupials. There are over 200 different kinds of marsupials in Australia. This one looks like a bear. But it eats grass like a cow. It's a wombat. Look at those teeth! That's a Tasmanian devil. They're meat eaters. And take a look at this one. It's a tree kangaroo. A kangaroo that lives in trees? Amazing! What are you guys doing? We're trying to play catch with this thing. But it's really not working very well. I thought it might be a fan. Do you know what it is? Yep. It's not a hat, Nash. It's a jar opener. Pickles, anyone? <laughs> <laughs> Just another thing in Australia that is not what we thought. <laughs> 